How to go from shy to confident. Are you timid but you wish you could speak out more? Do you often feel overlooked in groups and want to make your voice heard? Is your participation grade in class suffering because of your shyness? It's definitely not your fault that you were born a bit shyer than the average person, but it's something that you can overcome with effort. With a fresh mindset and a little bit of acting, you too can be confident and assertive when interacting with others. Changing your mindset. Become self-aware. Maybe you feel shy all the time. Or you might get nervous and quiet in large social situations. Start to analyze what makes you cautious or fearful. Knowing what causes your shyness will help you to get over it faster. Also, realize that shyness is not a personality, it's just an obstacle that stands in your way. Don't just focus on what you need to improve. Think about your strengths too. Maybe you are withdrawn, but you're also really good at observing people and understanding them. You may also want to identify any specific areas that contribute to your shyness. For example, do you feel shy at informal or formal events? Does the age or status of the person you are speaking to influence your shyness? Work on your strengths. Once you realize what you're good at, work on those skills even more. This can boost your self-esteem and make you more confident. For example, if you know that you're good at observing and understanding people, pay attention and hone this skill. Really start trying to empathize with people. This may make it easier to strike up a conversation with someone new. Don't expect perfection. Remember that nobody is perfect. Don't let frustration impact your self-esteem. If left alone, this frustration can create insecurity and depression. Instead of focusing on areas you need to improve, acknowledge and appreciate what you are good at. Keep in mind that failure and self-consciousness are part of the learning process, so you are more likely to feel worse before you feel better. Improve your self-image. It's easy to label yourself as shy and simply retreat from social interactions. Don't associate being shy with being an outcast, weird, or unusual. Instead, accept that you're unique. You don't have to fit in or be just like everyone else. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. Use social media. If you're naturally shy, work on your online presence. Use social media to get to know someone better. This isn't necessarily a replacement for social interaction. Instead, social media can help you feel more comfortable with the people you're interested in getting to know better. Try to find similar interests by sharing information about yourself. You may be surprised to find that people have similar interests or dislikes as you. Steer clear of social media forums that focus on shyness because they tend to be a place where people ruminate on their shyness rather than seeking ways to overcome shyness. Do something you enjoy right before a social interaction. If you're anxious about going to a party or meeting, do something that you really enjoy right before the event. Read a good book, listen to music, drink a coffee, whatever you like to do. This can make you more curious and outgoing. Doing some form of aerobic exercise before a social event may also help to calm your nerves by burning of excess adrenaline. Have a positive outlook. If you find yourself focusing on the negative, begin seeing the positives. This will also make you less critical of yourself and more accepting of others. For example, if you start to feel shy or nervous around someone new, look at it as a positive sign that you should meet someone new. 7. 